Hey y'all, it's Nick from Undefeated Productions, and welcome back to another video. In this one, we'll be talking about the trade that sent Luis Castile from the Cincinnati Reds to the Seattle Mariners. Before we get started, as always, hit that like button and subscribe. It is currently 2.07 a.m. in the morning. Got home from work, and I'm grinding these videos out for you, so if I'm a little tired, I apologize. But, Luis Castile, man, who cares about how, how I am? It's 2 in the morning. We're here to talk about Luis Castillo. Luis Castillo, this season, 3.3 war, 4-4 record, 2.86 ERA, 85 innings pitched, 90 strikeouts, and a 1.071 whip. He pitches tonight, or I, yeah, tonight, or this afternoon, because it's 2 in the morning, for um, the Mariners, the first game against the Yankees, I believe. So it'll be interesting to see how he does out there. Career-wise, uh, Castillo has pitched to a 3.62 ERA and 792 in a third innings pitched, 860 strikeouts with a 1.204 whip. Of course, Luis Castillo started this season on the injury list, hasn't pitched a full season. He's down about 20 innings pitched. You know, I think some of the better caliber starters are about 16, 17, 18 starts, so he's missed a couple starts. Uh, but only at 85 innings pitched, his numbers are very, very solid. They're what you come to expect. Now, the Mariners, they did not give up a little cheap thing for Luis Castillo. They traded high, high re, highly regarded infielder no, no, no Levy Marte and Edwin Arroyo and right-handers Levi Stout and Andrew Moore. Looking at the prospects of this, Marte, 20 year old, years old, 6'1", 181 shortstop, uh, 50 hit, 60 power, 60 run, 55 arm, 50 field, overall 55, and he was the uh, Royals' top prospect, number three, I believe, or number one, I don't remember, but now he's uh, in the Reds organization, number one prospect. Edwin Arroyo, a shortstop, 18 years old, 6 foot, 170. 5 pounds, 50 hit, 45 power, 55 run, 55 arm, 60 field, overall 55. Also going over in that trade, Levi Stout, right-handed pitcher, 24 years old, 6'1", 195. He has a 60 fastball, 50 curveball, 55 slider, 50 changeup, 45 control, with an overall of 50. And finally, the Reds also acquired... Andrew Moore, who is not listed in the Reds' top 30 prospects. So, with that being said, the Mariners, we know what they're getting. They're getting a bona fide step. They're getting an ace. They're getting someone that's just, that, that they need it. They needed desperately another ace to be able to go up and compete with Robbie Ray in that rotation. And Luis Castillo is exactly that. It did not come at a cheap price, uh, mind you. The uh, Now the Reds have a new number one overall prospect, a new um, number six overall prospect, and it was part of the Reds' fire sale. You know, they went out there and they sold big time. They got rid of all their pieces. They're tanking, they're rebuilding, and Castillo netted a bunch. Winner of this trade, it could go either way, honestly. The Castillo, very solid. If the Mariners push, it looks like they're going to make the playoffs. So if they make the playoffs and go deep, I think it's a great trade for the Mariners. If, and for the Reds, you can't be disappointed. You traded someone who's not going to come back with you while he had service time. You're not going to be competitive next year. So why not trade, get the prospects back for him. So overall, winners of this trade, I think both teams are winners. But if you guys have a different opinion, do you think the Mariners won? Do you think the Reds won? Let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button, subscribe. Come back for more videos, and see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.